Thank you very much, Mr. President. On the occasion of the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people tomorrow, which is 29 November, let me at the outset reaffirm our long-standing relationship with the Palestinian people based on deep-rooted historical and people-to-people -people ties and our consistent support to the people of Palestine in their endeavor for statehood, peace, and prosperity. We are gathered today, Mr. President, at a time when the security situation in the Middle East is deteriorating due to the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict with a large-scale loss of civilian lives, especially women and children, and an alarming humanitarian crisis. This is clearly unacceptable, and we have indeed strongly condemned the death of civilians. In addressing this humanitarian crisis, Mr. President, it is necessary for all parties to display the utmost responsibility. In this, we welcome all efforts by the international community that would lead to a de-escalation and delivery of humanitarian assistance to the people of Palestine. The humanitarian pauses is a welcome step to ensure timely and continuous delivery of humanitarian aid. We, on our part, have sent 70 tons of humanitarian goods, including 16.5 tons of medicines and medical supplies. We are aware, Mr. President, that the immediate trigger were the terror attacks in Israel on 7 October, which were shocking and deserve our unequivocal condemnation. There can be no justification for terrorism and hostage taking. Our thoughts are with those who have been taken as hostages. While we welcome the news of the release of the hostages, we also call for the immediate and unconditional release of the remaining hostages. India has a zero tolerance approach to terrorism. We also believe that there is a universal obligation to observe international humanitarian law. I will add, Mr. President, that since the start of the conflict, my Prime Minister and External Affairs Minister have been in close contact with leaders of the region and beyond, where they have emphasized a consistent message that it is important to prevent escalation, ensure continued delivery of humanitarian aid, and work towards an early restoration of peace and stability. Along with restraint, they have also emphasized a peaceful resolution of the conflict through dialogue and diplomacy. India also urges the parties to work toward creating conditions necessary for peace and the restarting of direct negotiations between the parties, including through an eschewing of violence and de-escalation. India has always supported a negotiated two-state solution to the Israel-Palestine issue, leading to the establishment of a sovereign, independent, and viable state of Palestine, living within secure and recognized borders, side by side, in peace with Israel. India, on its part, Mr. President, will continue to support the Palestinian people through our bilateral development partnership, which covers a wide range of sectors, including health, education, women's empowerment, entrepreneurship, and information technology, and will also continue to send humanitarian assistance to the people of Palestine. And as I conclude, Mr. President, let me reaffirm India's firm commitment to achieving a just, peaceful, and lasting solution to the Israel-Palestine issue. We firmly believe that not only a two-state solution achieved through direct and meaningful negotiations between both sides on final status issues will deliver an enduring peace that the people of Israel and Palestine desire and deserve. Thank you.